it, and we're going to be taking out the engine from the start. So, first of all, I just took the bonnet off just to make that no easier, but just more space and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to get straight into it and get this thing out. Right, so here we go, the bumper's off, wheels are off, bonnet's off, ready to get straight into it. Just took off bits because it makes it easier to get in the bonnet and stuff, so yeah, anyway. So, the engine we're putting in doesn't actually have power steering, so I need to get rid of that. Uh, and this just looks terrible, look at all that. The power steering is leaking. Um, what else? It just doesn't look good at all, so yeah. Take this out, get it all cleaned up, and get the other engine in. And then my plan is to this engine that we're putting in, it'll turbo that. It's got like the stock ECU and everything like that, so if anything happens to it, <laughs> it happens if you know what I mean. I right, obviously know the ECU and that, but the engine. So we've got to turbo the other engine that's going into it, and then the engine that I'm taking out now, that's the one that I'm going to actually proper build up and make it look presentable. So yeah, we'll just get stuck straight into it. So here we have the radiators out, just so it doesn't be damaged. Look at the colour of that coolant. There was also oil in that bucket before, in case anyone's wondering why it is that colour. Well, why it is we wee bit, say, oil. Anyway, so that's out. Uh, drain the coolant. Uh, radiators out and fan so I don't damage it. Uh, I think I'm going to take the power steering off next. I've got some Oh, there we go. Um, and we'll put that to one side. And then when I took out the engine in the green style, I, I, I took like bits off that I didn't really need to take off, so I'm trying not to do that in this one. Um, so, yeah. And then take that off, put it to the side. Take the air box off, I think, so we can get down the back of there. I know there's a, I think there's a clutch cable, gear cable, or something it's called. That was a pain last time, so we need to look at that. Um, so, yeah, but look at that's what I mean. Look at all the oil. There's the canoe. Let me turn it to uh, where is the doctor? <laughs> so, let me oh, tell if I had the battery in it. So, yeah, right, look at that. Jesus Christ, I never knew it was that bad. But, alright, so I want to take all that off. I want to, like, proper, like, clean away this a little better. Let's get a new sump that's got a hole in it. Eh, uh, not a hole in it, a big dent in it. Um, so, yeah. It's terrible. It's really bad actually. It's all so worse. <laughs> so, yeah. And we're going to be replacing a lot and cleaning a lot up and etc. On this engine. We'll keep this one good. So, yeah. Right, so where we're up to, we've got this all apart. Just need to take off the drive shaft. We're still need to take out the gearbox oil. Uh, we've drained the oil. Uh, basically, all the fuel pipes or fuel lines and stuff are off. Um, what else? Okay, all the torch, they're getting there. This, oh, see this brake pipe? It's starting to like round where it joins onto the flex here. Eh? It's a bit of a nightmare, but we'll get that sorted at one point. Well, obviously, soon. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just going through it all, but gonna stop it there and head home as it's getting quite late into the night now. I think it's like 10 o'clock something, but aye, so I'm just gonna continue this tomorrow. Um, so yeah, and all the cars we've got booked in is going to be outside anyway, so this can sit here thing. So yeah, thanks for, uh, I don't know if to end it here or not. Hmm, should I end it here? Nah, I'll end it when I take that to end it. Anyway, so we'll continue this in the morning. And just like that, it's the morning after. So, let's get straight into this. Today the plan is to get the engine out, I'll just flip the camera around. So the plan is today is get the engine fully out. Everything we need to kind of bag up, like fuse box and whatever, get that bagged up, and I want to clean the engine bay and prep to go back in. Uh, two of the drive shafts and to do the CV boots and that. Uh, so yeah, we'll just get straight into it.
gearbox oil uh, draining and that's a filler plug so I took that off to begin with to make sure that it would come off not unless you take that off and then you kind of fill it back up so then we'll get the two drive shafts popped out and I'll show you the mess I was talking about like underneath with this CV but you can see it's like all up there so I'll get that good clean look at this dented sump <laughs> Right, so the only thing to take off now is to see that clip on the day table. So, that's it. Um, just about an eight to empty. Apart from that, it's ready to drop, really. Um, so, yeah, just need to drop it and make sure the wire goes up there and should be fine. So the plan is we're going to drop it onto a tyre. Right, drop the car down, put, it, put the engine into a tyre kind of thing. Do the engine gearbox mounts because I've already took off the back centre mount and then jack the car up and raise the car over the engine. So, ah. so yeah, we're going to do that way. I don't have an engine stand. Uh, I was going to get one, but maybe in the future. Or not like an engine crane as well as a stand. Um, depends how much more we do this. I, do, I, I did want to get one, but it's just a space that it seems to take up. So, yeah, uh, so we're going to do this way and see how it goes. And go for there and then we'll get in the boot and clean it this is the mess I'm talking about oh this drive shaft fell at the CV joint <laughs> right so this is where we're up to we've got the tyre underneath um, so yeah just bringing it down on the jack that stands it away so wait till it's in the tyre take off the gearbox and engine mount and then jack up push that car back while it's on the jack uh, it's just hitting off the manifold now so yeah i'll buzz it off and then we'll push it back right and that's it out just like that i suppose <laughs> so this is really needing a good clean up first before we go any further forward so what i'm going to do is <coughs> get the wheels back on and push it out and give it a good clean um so yeah uh, I'll probably make another video for that. Uh, I'm going to go and get lunch now, so thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. Charger. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a weird one because it's, it's hard to follow when you're hanging and lying under a car that's dripping on your face and everything like that. Oh, right, I'm going to go and get a haircut. Get that. Whew. Anyway, so uh, next video will be washing this, so hopefully, I'll get that video today as well. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Tell me what you think of uh, this. I don't know. Just tell me something. Right, thank you. Bye.